Okay, in this video I'm going to go into Dutch doors in a bit more detail um, and uh, various ways you can set them up. Um, some are more complicated than others, um, but they're all fairly straightforward. Um, in essence, they're all the same in that you add a polygon or a shape, um, set it up as a link um, in window mode so that um, that defines the page that you're going to be seeing through the current page um, and it is essentially the cutaway part of the page um, <clears throat> and that's both visual and it's used for uh, the write through um, so um, in essence you can either write on your Dutch door part or the page which lies behind your Dutch door um, <clears throat> and I think that that's what makes Dutch doors truly useful. Um, but um, I'll start with the easy way, which is just to add um, a single polygon and just stretch it over the whole of the page that you want to um, see turning. And um, so essentially, that's it. Um, now you're going to want to <clears throat> draw things on top of that. So I've got a little insert there, which is currently behind that polygon I've just drawn. So I'm just going to use the um, move to back to bring the insert above it. Then I'm going to select the polygon and set its link up to the next page. So that's what I want to see through this page two, um, and then just press as window. Now that's going to give the right effect, obviously not on the reverse page yet, but we see the insert flip over when we start turning the page. Now that's fine if your insert is just for visual effect, but if you want to write on it, the write through is not going to work. And what I mean by that is if I go notes here, it's written straight through. It's not because that polygon is over the whole page, everything you write within it is going to go through to the next page. So that's, um, well, not ideal, really. Um, so it works for um, just visual effects, but um, nothing more. So I'd say. A single polygon is probably okay if you're doing it like an insert that um, runs the whole height of the page, for instance. So we'll just stretch that up. Then we can go back to this polygon and just bring it back to the edge of our insert. And then we've got an insert uh, that's, that's folding appropriately um, and the right through will work so that notes, I'll turn it over, that's all good. Um, now if I, if I'm, when I'm happy with that, I'd select the polygon again, go back to the properties, I'd probably turn off fill and border, because we're happy we've um, got it set up correctly, you can turn those off, link, and then I'd use this make reverse link. And now I can turn the page, and I've got a perfect Dutch door effect going on, apart from this reverse side isn't correct yet. Now you can put whatever you like on the reverse side, um, <clears throat> but you just do need it to look correct. So if I select what's on this page, um, copy it, I can paste it in place. That means exactly the same on this page as it was on the last page. Um, and then I can use the, um, just gonna have to select that again. Um, there we go. Um, I can use the flip horizontal about page center to flip it over to the other side now. And I don't want these to show. 
because they were just copied from the first page. Um, and now when I got a perfect flip and I can write on this one as well. It's So that's a simple kind of insert Dutch door effect going on. Um, I'm just going to undo that down to go back to the other sort of um, Dutch door that we might want to do. So it's really not taking up the whole height of the page or the width of the page. Um, so what are we going to do here? Well. Um, the easy way is to add two polygons, two rectangles. That would be one. And then copy that one. Resize it a bit so that we can fit it into this space. Drag it out. And that's that will give the correct effect. Um, but what I find it's kind of better to uh, draw over the area to, as a closed shape. Um, then you've just got a single object which is controlling the window through to the other page, which is easier to manage, although it takes a bit more effort to, to do that. Um, so um, the way I do that usually is I would, let's uh, I'll start from scratch, delete these. I'd probably start with um, just pull a rectangle over the, the area that you want to mask out, a bit like we did would have done for this previously. Then I'd um, use the ruler um, to um, draw around the outside and it'll, because the reason for drawing the polygons is it'll snap to the corners of them just makes it really easy to draw around the area that we want to okay. mask away So I could go on and make the shape just by um, carrying on uh, with that ruler. But the other advantage of going down this um, closed shape route is that we can get a much better um, area around the cutout. So just by using um, this edge uh, line smoothing mode I can just draw by hand but around the edge so I'm, I take more time usually than this but uh, so you can take the pen off as long as you start near enough the um, end of the last line it, uh, it'll work well and I'm going to finish there. Um, so that's got a, I've got a closed loop of lines, and I want to convert those into a shape. Um, now you've got to be a bit careful. You just select lines here. So I'm going to put the type fil filtering on and just set to pen. And I can drag a rectangle over there. And I can say make shape with that. And then we can just set that up as we did before. Um, and I can get rid of the lines that I drew. I can start the shape tool and tap on that shape and start configuring it. So uh, don't want a border, don't want to fill um, page to the next page. Um, and then as window. And what we see now is it's put a nice mask around 
shape that uh, of the insert, the Dutch door. And when we do a page turn, we can see the nice edge again there. And all we're going to do is um, use the make reverse link to copy that to the next page and put it in the correct place. And there we've got the nice Dutch door effect. Again, we've got the insert that we're going to have to copy to the other side. Um, turn off type filtering, copy it, copy, next page. We're going to paste that, no, paste in place, and then we can. Flip it using the flip H about page center. And then we've got, because of, we just notice along this edge, it's not quite right. So when we go back, Got it cut out on this edge but not on this one now the reason for that is when i pasted in the insert that's gone on top of the um, linked shape so we can just move that to the back and that will solve it there we go we've got the nice um, cut out again it's working we'll just test it with Ooh, that's still on and notes tick and notes tick and the right through notes and and on the side notes so Hopefully that's a bit clearer what, what you can do with uh, Dutch doors and the, making the, the links uh, correct. Um, I think might be a few more improvements on the way, but uh, if you think of anything that you um, want or need, just get in touch and uh, I'm sure we can sort something out.